ಸ್ಥಾಪಿತ್ರೀಗುರುವೇನಮಸ್ತೀಯುತಪದಕಮಲೀಗುರುಂ ಸಹಗಣ ಸಹಗಣ ರಘುನಾಥಾನ್ವಿತಂ ತಂ ಸಜೀವ ಸಾಧ್ವೈತ ಸಾವದೂತ ಪರಿಜನ ಸಹಿತ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ದೇವ ಶ್ರೀರಾಧಾಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪಾದ ಸಹಗಣ ಲಲಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ವಿಶಾಖಾನ್ವಿತ ಹೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕರುಣಾ ಸಿಂಧು ದೀನಬಂಧು ಜಗತ್ಪತೆ ಗೋಪೇಶ ಗೋಪಿಕಾ ಕಾಂತ ರಾಧಾಕಾಂತ ನಮೋ ಸ್ತುತೆ ತಪ್ತ ಕಾಂಚನ ಗೌರಾಂಗಿ ರಾಧೆ ವೃಂದಾವನೇಶ್ವರಿ ವೃಷಭಾನುಶುತೆ ದೇವಿ ಪ್ರಣಮಿ ಹರಿ ಪ್ರಿಯ ವಾಂಚಾಕಲ್ಪತರುಭ್ಯ ಕೃಪಾ ಸಿಂಧುಭ್ಯ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯೋ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶ್ರೀವಾಸಾದಿ ಘೋರ ಭಕ್ತ ವೃಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಭಗವದ್ಗೀತಾ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ನೈನ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಕಾನ್ಫಿಡೆನ್ಸ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಇನ್ ವರ್ಸ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಥರ್ಟಿ ಟು ಸೊ ನೈನ್ ಥರ್ಟಿ ಟು ಪಾರ್ಥ ವ್ಯಾಪಾಶ್ರಿತ್ಯ ಮಾಂಹಿ ಪಾರ್ಥ ವ್ಯಪಾಶ್ರಿತ್ಯ ಯೇ ಅಪಿ ಸ್ಯೂ ಪಾಪಯೋನಯ ಯೇಪಿ ಸ್ಯೂ ಪಾಪಯೋನಯ ಸ್ತ್ರೀಯೋ ವೈಶ್ಯಸ್ತುದ್ರಾಸ್ ಸ್ತ್ರೀಯೋ ವೈಶ್ಯಸ್ತುದ್ರಾಸ್ ಸ್ತ್ರೀಯೋಶ್ಯಾಸ್ತುದ್ರಾಸ್ ಶ್ರೀಯೋಶ್ಯಾಸ್ತುದ್ರಾಸ್ತುಪಯೋನಯ ಶ್ರೀಯೋಶ್ಯಾಸ್ತುದ್ರಾಸ್ತುಪಯೋನಯ ಶ್ರೀಯೋಶ್ಯಾಸ್ತುದ್ರಾಸ್ತುಪಯೋ ನ ಶ್ರೀಯೋಶ್ಯಾಸ್ತುದ್ರಾಸ್ತುಪಯೋನಯೋಪಾಪಯೋನಯ ಶ್ರೀಯೋಶ್ಯಾಸ್ತುದ್ರಾಸ್ತುದ್ರಾಸ್ ಪಾರ್ಥ ವ್ಯಪಾಶ್ರಿತ್ಯ 
वर्ड बाय वर्ड मीनिंग माम ऑफ मी माम ऑफ मी की सर्टेनली की सर्टेनली पार्थ ओसन ऑफ प्रीता पार्थ ओसन ऑफ प्रीता व्यापाश्रित्य पर्टिकुलरली टेकिंग शेल्टर व्यापाश्रित्य पर्टिकुलरली टेकिंग शेल्टर ये दोज हो ये दोज हो अभी आलसो Happy also. You are. You are. Papa Yona ya born of a lower family. Papa Yona ya born of a lower family. Three women. Three women. Vesya mercantile people. Vesya mercantile people. Tatha also. Tatha also. Sudra. Lower class men. Shudra, lower class men. They appi even they. They appi even they. Yanti go. Yanti go. Param to the supreme. Param to the supreme. Gatim destination. Gatim destination. Translation and purport given by His Divine Grace, A. C. Bhakti Vedanta Swami Sri Re Prabhupada. O son of Pritha, those who take shelter in me, though they be in lower birth, women, vaishyas, merchants, and sudras, workers, can attain the supreme destination. One more time. O son of Pritha, those who take shelter in me, though they be of lower birth, women vaishyas merchants and sudras workers can attain the supreme destination but, but it is clearly declared here by the supreme lord that in devotional service there is no distinctions between the lower and higher classes of people in the material conception of life there are such divisions but for a person engaged in transcendental devotional service to the lord there are not everyone is eligible for the supreme destination in the shrimad bhagavatam 2.4.18 it is stated that even the low waste who is called chandalas dog eaters can be purified by association with a pure devotee therefore devotional service and the guidance of a pure devotees are so strong that there is no discrimination between the lower and higher classes of men anyone can take to it the most simple man taking shelter of the pure devotee can be purified by proper guidance according to the different modes of material nature men are classified in the mod of goodness brahmanas the mod of passion chatriyas are administrators the mix mod of passion and ignorance vaishyas are merchants and the mod of ignorance sudras are workers those lower than them is are called chandalas and they are born in sinful families 
generally the association of those born in sinful families is not accepted by the higher classes. But the process of devotional service is so strong that the pure devotee of the Supreme Lord can enable people of all the lower classes to attain the highest perfection of life. This is possible only when one takes shelter of Krishna, as indicated here by the word Vyapastriya. One who has to take shelter completely of Krishna, then one can become much greater than great jnanis and yogis. So, munkam karoti vachalam pangum langate girim yat kripatam ham bandhe gurum. So, anyone can be qualified by the mercy of the qualified guru. Namo Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prashthaya Bhutale Srimate Srinupa Swami Nitinamine Namo Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prashthaya Bhutale Srimate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Nitinamine Namaste Saraswati Devi Gauravani Pracharine Nirvise Sasunavadi Paschata De Satarine Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadhara Sri Vasadi Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare So I am welcoming all of you for weekly Bhagavad Gita reading session and also at the same I am same time I am begging mercy from all of you so that I can speak few words. So this is very important and we are in chapter 9, most confidential knowledge and we can break down the chapter 6 and 1. Hearing means qualification and disqualification. Those who hear faithfully from the proper through source, then that person is qualified. That is the qualification and hearing has to be non-envious. And those who are faithless and that person will be forced to come to the cycle of repeated cycle of birth and death. And then Lord Krishna, he shows as per grand, Means he's showing his opulences in this material world, how it has been created, inhalated, and how the his cosmic energy, his material energy is maintained and directed on those things. So four to ten, and then section three foolish neglects the bhakti and divine to don't. And then we are at the last sections, the glories of devotional service to Krishna. So pure devotee, they worship Krishna with the devotion and even offer him a fruit of his work when become free from reactions of all those things, karma free and worship in a simple way and uh, result is a super excellent that has been described in 26, 27, 28. And Krishna shows the favorism that has been discussed and then after that we are in the next section, devotional service purifies all. By thinking of Krishna, offering him obeisances and being absorbed in him, 
one goes back to Godhead regardless of his position. Regardless of his position, we are in 32. So main thing is the key step is here. Sri Prabhupada also emphasized in the um, purport that uh, means the guidance of a pure devotee are so strong that there is no discrimination between the lower and higher classes. So that guidance has to be there. We have to start under the guidance and guidance has to be under the bona fide authority, not anyone. And sometimes people will be misled also if bona fide process is not there or bona fide place is not there. So hearing from the authority, that is the very important thing here. Sramana, Kirtana, Vishnu, Vishmara. So Sramana means hearing the, first you start with the hearing. What to hear? Hare Krishna Mahamantra. That is the key. And then also Srimad Bhagavatam, Nam Dham, Bhagavatam, DTs, devotees, those are the five prominent items. But all those things is required, the proper guidance, that is the key step. That's what I have come to the conclusion. And then Srila Prabhupada is mentioning about the Srimad Bhagavatam and there let me read that different different classes of men also apart from that Irat, Hun, Andra, Pulind, Pulach, Abhir, Sumbh, Yavan members of the Khas races and even others addicted to sinful acts can be purified by taking shelter of the devotees of the Lord. Due to his being the supreme power, I beg to offer my respectful obeisances unto him. So I think uh, mm. Sukhdev Goswami, he is offering the obeisances. That's what I'm guessing. I may be there wrong. Either Sukhdev Goswami or Sona. Um, not Sutta Goswami. Either of them are offering obeisances and starting the glorifying the Lord. How his nature is there. So he is a pap and he don't do any discriminations. And he is easily available to anyone. But only thing is that it has to be little faith. When small faith is there, when we are having Ado Sraddha, and then when we come to the same contact, come in the contact of Sancti person, Sadhu Sangha, then we start the Bhajani Kriya. And then bhajan kriya is going on, anarthani priti also goes, and then nistha, ruchi, asakti, bhava, and prema. It grows, and up to the bhava, we have to purify ourselves fully to remove the unwanted things, our desires that is residing in our heart. It, it is very easy to remove all the gross level of anarthas, but subtle level is very difficult. And those who are surpassing, they are going back home, back to God. And that is possible only by the mercy of the pure devotee of the Lord.
and uh, I was reading Kun Kun Kunti's prayer because it has been mentioned here in the translation. Lower birth women Vaishyas and Sudras. So women, anyone can think that really that is a kind of racism or anything related to that? No. For the soul, it is meant for the enjoyment purpose of the Lord. So ekala krishna are sab brit means Krishna is the only enjoyer and we all are meant for his enjoyment. And then also role of the woman is very important. First guru is mother. And then I was thinking immediately my thought goes first to the Kyun Kunti's prayer and then after that it goes to the um, Kapila Dev's teaching, pure devotional service. And there he is referring to his mother, virtuous lady. Ta ete sadhava sadvi sarva sanga vivarjita sangaste sthavate partha sanga dosa harahite. So here sadvi means virtual lady. So, O oh, my mother, O oh, virtuous lady, these are the quality of the great devotees he is in the Sadhu Sangastaka verse he is saying from 20 to 27 and he is describing 20 to 23 continuously characteristics of the Sadhu and uh, who are free from all attachments and you must seek attachment to such holy men and for this counteracts the persinous effect of material attachment. He start by saying that every learned person knows that uh, attachment to the material will bring us in this cycle of repeated cycle of birth and death and uh, Attachment to the lotus feet of the sadhu will open the gate for the liberation, Mocha Dwaram. And then he starts the seat describing the characteristic of the sadhu. So symptoms of the sadhu is tolerant, merciful, friendly to all living entity, and he has no enemies, Ajata Satrava. And also he is peaceful, santa, and he sadhava means he abides by the scriptures. And all of his characteristics are sublime, divya, sadhu, lachana. So when someone is taking the shelter of the sadhu, and uh, then life will be and successful. So far, I was uh, thinking immediately thought when who can be the guru if we will read the uh, nectar of instructions. Vacho vegam manasa krodha vegam jihva vegam udaro pasta vegam etan veganyo visaheta dhira sarvam mapi so a sober person who can tolerate the urge to speak the mind's demand, the action of anger and the urges of the tongue, belly and genitals is qualified to make disciple all over the world. Means prithvim So there it didn't say anything about any race or anything lower and higher. So the person 
who can do all those things, that person can become the guru, eligible to become the guru. So either women, chandalas, sudras, it doesn't matter. So in from the bhakti point of view, there is no discrimination. But yes, there is also uttam adhikari, madhyam adhikari, kanishta adhikari. There is loving exchanges are also how to deal according to the etiquette basis. So that is also there too. But it is not real based on the discrimination. It is based on how to respect to others. And uh, it is also mentioned in Chaitanya Charitamrita, Madhya Lila 8, chapter 8, verse 128. Kiba vipra kiba nyasi sudra ke nahinaya Yei Krishna Tattva Vitta Se Guru Hai. Whatever one is, a Brahmana, a Sanyasi, or Shudra, regardless of what he is, he can become a spiritual master if he is, if he knows the science of Krishna. Means Krishna Tattva Vitta. That is the major qualification. So they, it, it, it didn't show anything and also it has been mentioned in the Padma Purana. No Sudra Bhagavad Bhaktas Te Api Bhagavato Tamaha Sarva Varnesu Te Sudra Ye na bhakta janardani. One who is actually advanced in spiritual knowledge of Krishna is never a sudra. So he may be born in a different family or races. It doesn't matter. But if he is advanced in spiritual knowledge, of Krishna, he is never a sudra. He is above the Brahmana. Even, even though he may have been born in a sudra family, however, even if a vipra or Brahmana is very expert in six Brahmanical activities, Pathana, Pathana, Yajan, Yajan, Dana, Pratigraha, And so everybody must be knowing reading scriptures and also um, teaching scriptures and doing the sacrifice and also performing the sacrifice, becoming the priest, and then giving the charity and accepting the tadati pratigrahinati from the nectar of devotion. Also, that exchange is there. So those are the six Brahmanical activities and is also well versed in a Vedic times. He cannot become a spiritual master unless he is a Vaishnava. But if one is born in the family of Chandalas, yet he well versed yet is well versed in Krishna consciousness. So he can become Guru. These are the Sastric injunction and strictly following these injunctions, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu as a Grihastha named Sri Visambhara as a Grihastha named Sri Visambhara was initiated by Sanyasi Guru named Ishwar Puri. So, talking about Lord Chaitanya when he was a Grihastha and that time he was named Sri Visambharan. Similarly, Sri Nityanand Prabhu was initiated by Madhavendra Puri, a Sanyasi, according to 
others however he was initiated by lakshmipati tirtha advaita acharya although agrihasta was initiated by madhavendra puri and sri rashikananda although born in a brahmana family was initiated by sri syamananda prabhu who was bo not born in a caste brahmana family these are many instances in which a born Brahm brahmana took initiation from a person who was not born in brahmana family and brahmanical symptoms are explained in shrimad bhagavatam 7 11 34 if a person is born in a sudra but has all the qualities of a spiritual master he should be accepted not only as a brahmana but as a qualified spiritual master also this is also the instructions of sri chaitanya mahaprabhu sri labhakti siddhant saraswati thakur therefore introduce the sacred thread ceremony for all vaishnava according to the rules and regulations so those are the very important things there is no discrimination or any kind of problem what kind of race place born or which family has born it doesn't matter if someone is hearing faithfully then he is qualified to become a guru not only to become the bhakta to help to others too in the preaching moment too to spread the krishna consciousness and those are the symptoms of the sadhus and sadhu he is always engaged in krishna consciousness his thought is mai ananya bhavena bhakti mu kurvanti ye deva so he does this staunch bhakti and his thought always goes unto the lotus feet of the lord how to serve him and that's why he is free from all material miseries he is unaffected by the uh, miseries so i will stop here if any question or comment and then i will go next hari krishna Oh, very nice. I was just thinking that Prabhupada's early disciples were all examples of this, right? <laughs> <laughs> they were into everything, and you know, but then they became like pure devotees, you know, just by the association of a pure sadhu, pure devotee. Exactly. Thank you, Madhavi. That's why I stopped in the middle. I wanted to hear this. <laughs> <laughs> they were into everything they were into drinking drugs they all the they broke all the four regulative principles they were living that kind of a life but uh, but as soon as they met a pure devotee they, they if you read the lilamrita it's like the transformation is like you know almost un unbelievable yeah. you know <laughs> here were these boys and girls who were like into everything and then i remember when shil propad was in the ganges or something like that taking a bath and he was um, um he had some water in his mouth and he was shooting the water out and all these young disciples were like fighting to get a little bit of the water the propad was throwing out of his mouth <laughs> and i'm thinking look at their devotion at that point you know <laughs> understanding the understanding the the stature of guru and how you know 
anything that the guru gives including you know some water from his mouth is like so transcendental you know and and helps with their um spiritual progress and i was thinking how did they, how did these western devotees begin to understand such a great you know understanding of guru tattva <laughs> <laughs> So it shows Prabhupada's power as a pure devotee to transform. Very. Thank you, Matsuji. And, and uh, I mean, in uh, chapter 15, Sarvasya Chaham, Sarvadi Sanyavistu. So, so Krishna is telling them from inside. Yes, both, right? I mean, the Guru, once they are so surrendered to Guru, then Krishna is obviously uh, guiding he, them also. Yeah. Yes. From he, he takes care of his devotee. Mm -hmm. mm. But surrender has to be there. And that has to be according to the Krishna's will, not according to our term and conditions. <laughs> Right, yeah. But so that, but to gain the association of devotees is such a uh, blessing in itself, you know. Not everyone gains the association of devotees, right? A lot of these devotees were seeking, and not all of them were engaged in all these abominable activities that you're describing. Many were, but not all. So... I would be a little hesitant hesitant to make such a, a blank statement that oh, all I wasn't them... I wasn't saying all. I wasn't saying all at you all. You did say all. You did, did say I? all. Oh. Yeah. But I would say many, you know. Yeah. yeah. Because there were some who weren't, like Jayananda, you know, he wasn't engaged in all these activities. And there were others too who were seeking, even though they were associating with those who were engaging in some of these, they themselves weren't like Govinda Dasi and her husband. They may have experimented a little bit, but not continuously. They yeah, saw even, even Mukunda, yeah, Mukunda and all of them were seeking, you know, they were all And seeking. they saw that those activities weren't going anywhere. You know, they were seeking something higher. And so when they came in contact with, mm -hmm. it just, you know. Yeah, I mean, many of them were seeking. I mean, even the hippies were all like seeking, you know, something higher. Yeah, even a lot of they were in the, yeah, even though they were in the Not hippie mode. Yeah. It was a kind of experiment to going towards the higher. Right. They were they were trying experimenting with different things and seeking in, in different ways, you know. But sometimes I feel the whole hippie movement was created for Srila Prabhupada. You know? Exactly. It was a right. <laughs> The, right. Yeah, the right environment was created for Shil Prabhupada. You know. Here they were anti-authoritarian. You know, they were looking, they didn't want to follow authority anymore. Yet, they gave total, they totally surrendered to Prabhupada's authority. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. That, that was uh, based on the love. Right. Yeah. And so it was unconditional. Yeah, but there wasn't a hippie movement, movement before, and there isn't a hippie movement now. It just was only at that time. <laughs> right, right. So Sadhu's yeah. character is Titichnava, means he's tolerant. So Sri oh Prabhupada my God. was very yeah. beautiful. Sri Prabhupada's tolerance is like he he's he guides them like little children, you know, guided by a father. Indulgent father, you know. <laughs> and also he empowered to most of his disciples, those who wanted to move forward, he gave full empowerment to them. Yes, yeah. He encouraged them, he empowered them, he cajoled them. <laughs> and those yeah. were the young kids, like your 20s. Right. So th that is the amazing 
things it comes to me that oh means it, it is not ordinary task or anything related right. to it. there's no there was no generation gap you know? yeah but they were looking for a, a kind and affectionate father figure which they also found in Shola Prabhupada you know even all of them most of them means has the father right but... even when Shama Sundar was going to jail Srila Prabhupada said, well, he encouraged him still. He said, Krishna was born in jail, you know. And, and you know, he even very humbly said, like, I was a drug dealer. <laughs> even though what he meant was he was a pharmacist, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but he wanted to make Sham Sundar feel better, you know. So he was like a really affectionate and kind father who even in the worst of times of a of his of a son or of you know makes it makes him feel like it's okay you can get through this <laughs> and and it it appeared that Prabhupada had a, a a hand in shortening their sentence Prabhupada uh, they got out earlier and Prabhupada said that I was thinking five years was too long oh and they got out earlier, and the lady said, "I don't know how you're doing this." You know. <laughs> yeah, he got out in three months, a few months, yeah. I think. Yeah. Yeah, it was a short, short time, I know. Yeah, very short time, exactly. Yeah, everybody, they were all surprised. They couldn't understand how they're doing it. <laughs> the prophet said, "I, I thought five years was too long." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because he needed him to do Krishna yeah. service. Yeah. Because they were surrendered. Totally. Yeah. And what are the hindrances? Any other comments? Otherwise, we can read some more. Okay. Mataji, you were saying something? I interpreted in between. No, no, I wasn't saying anything. No, I think Jiva Mataji. Oh. No, no. Okay. Okay, Mataji. So Maharani Kunti si is saying in the prayer, her prayer, that uh, four things are hindrance for the bhakti. Janma, Srut, Aswari, and one Sribi. So these four things means born in a opulent family or, and then also having the educations and then beautiful and one more thing means having the rich. So all these things will be the materially uh, means qualified person but it will be very difficult for them to surrender to the Lord. And it is very difficult for them to become the devotee. Real means. Uh, and also, who can surrender? Who is Akinchana? Akinchanatvam. Surrender symptoms is one of the symptoms is Akinchanatvam. Means nothing in the positions. When Bibi said, he left Lanka. When Ravan told him to leave and then immediately he left everything, his family, wife, brother and everything and he came to Lord, surrender to the Lord Ram. He came with his four ministers, I think, at the Duruvasan Ram place. I was able to go there to that temple also in Tamil Nadu. So, he had nothing. So the person who is mentally exhausted, then only they can surrender. If someone is holding something, then it is very difficult to do anything. And in her prayer, she is also saying one more. Uh, let me find if I can open the prayers.
there she is saying it is very difficult for others but i am born as a woman and uh, so i cannot glorify you i am not qualified and she is saying about the her attachments to the family because women are attached to the family in general but women you can see the yasoda krishna's name yasoda nandana devaki nandana and then in this verse also krishna is referring parth pritha o son of pritha so it means kunti son of the kunti so they are known by the mothers also so someone can think oh, there is a discrimination in the scriptures no it is not related to especially in the bhakti there is nothing related to hindrance or any kind of discrimination anyone can go to the highest level of their uh, devotee level or to develop their highest love of the god and that is the krishna prema they can be vimukta because since there are so many matajis are there here so i thought some mataji will not speak and they will think in other way why it has been referred but it is referred in general it has been referred so i will stop here and today is i think uh, appearance day of the dhanvantri so happy dhanteras to all of you And what what is the significance of that? I mean, like my husband also was saying, like, uh, do we? He asked me, do we celebrate Dantaras? And in our in our community, you know, um, that we come from, I don't remember ever celebrating Dantaras so much. You know, we we celebrate um, Naraka Chaturdashi, you know, and Tulsi Puja and and Lakshmi Puja and all that. But I don't remember celebrating. Dhanvantri. So, Dhanvantri. what is the exact significance of Dhanteras? I was. Wondering. If you will, if you will look, that there are twenty-four major incarnations are there. In that also, he is the Ansha Avatar, mm -hmm. and he appeared during the Samudra Manthan time. Mm -hmm. And then he. Yeah, I, I know who Dhanvantri is, but what yeah. is the actual celebration? In I think it's probably more. Celebration is to clean the kitchen area. Mm -hmm. Everything is related to our all Ayurvedic herbal medicine is in the kitchen. So, but people are going and buying the gold and serving means uh, doing the Lakshmi puja, but it is related to the Dhanvantri only to make a healthy lifestyle. In so, on the terrace they do Lakshmi. I thought Lakshmi puja is done on Diwali itself. Many people do Lakshmi puja on Diwali. Some people do today also. Oh, some people do on the terrace also. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. But it is related to the health. So, Sail Pavpad he told that uh, health is number one priority. Then our personal sadhana. and then service so if our health is good then we can do the personal sadhana as well as the service too right so we have to take care of our health too so dhanvantri's mantra is there also it has been mentioned um i'm forgetting how i forgot But there is a song by um, I think it's Kanaka Dasa. I can't remember which Dasa in Southern India. He he prays to the Lord Dhanavantri. He says, yeah. uh, "Please, Lord Dhanavantri, hold my pulse." You know, like you are generally in medicine, they check the pulse, right? 
He mm-hmm. says, please hold my pulse and tell me what kind of disease that I have. Uh, and please cure my material disease, he says. <laughs> so our greatest disease is the material disease. <laughs> and he prays to Lord Dhanavantri mm-hmm. to cure his material disease and show him the way to Vaikuntha. <laughs> Roganasaka Mantra, it is taken from the Dhanavantri uh, Mantra. So that is the Achyutta Ananta Govinda Nama Ucharan Vesajat Nasyanti Sakala Haruga Satyam Satyam Vadamiham. So Achyutainama Govind Anantainama Govindainama, these three mantras are there. Mm-hmm. But you know, I mean, the greatest disease we have is the material disease, and yeah. the asas <laughs> asked Dhanavantri to cure the material disease. <laughs> that is the Hare Krishna Mahamantra. Oh, yeah. And definitely Achutai and Antai Govindai also that will give the liberation because right. it is name of the Lord. So, but Mahamantra will give us highest prema. Braja Prema. And also, you can see the Krishna, he is the supermost enjoyer, and he is controlled by whom? Radharani. Right. <laughs> Prabhuji, I have a question. Yes. So, if we are connecting to Iskand, then uh, do we need to stop uh, the Lakshmi Puja and other Pujas also? Lakshmi Puja, Krishna's name is Madhava, correct? Mm-hmm. So you see the husband of the goddess of fortune. Mm-hmm. So if you are doing this separate from Krishna, there are uh, nine process of devotional service mentioned in the scripture. So it has been Pada Sevana, one. So Lakshmi Ji, she has perfected her life by massaging the lotus feet of the Lord. So she, she cannot, she is the chess wife, she cannot leave her husband. So if we are inviting Madhav, then you have to worship with the Krishna and Radha. And Lakshmi is the expansions of Srimati Radharani. Or Lakshmi Narayana, not separately, for the Lakshmi and also um, if you have to ask the blessing to seek and give to Krishna to become the servant of the Narayana, then that is the perfect way of doing. Otherwise, asking something, so that has to be related to the service. To If some earth is coming, goddess of fortune is happy then she can give then we should try to do some work also in helping the preaching mission then it is good but we should worship together not only alone because if we are inviting her alone how she will leave her husband because mm-hmm. he is always massaging the feet. Yeah, got it. Thank you, Prabhuji. Thank you, Mataji. Maybe Jiva Mataji can add some more point. Or she can correct me. So we should stop here. Yeah, Prabhu. Yeah. Okay. And, one, and, and one more. Uh, this, yes. Uh, was it Vidya who asked the question or Lakshmi? I forget who asked. Yes, Vidya. Uh, Vidya. Yeah, I mean, we have the South Indian Dasas who worship all these um, goddesses and demigods perfectly, you know. They 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 call upon them, them with the songs, you know, like they, we have the Bhagya Da Lakshmi Bharama Namamani So Bhagya Da Lakshmi Bharama song by Purandar Dasa, which is very popular in the South, you know. Um, but at the end of the song, he says, Chatta Purandara Vitalana Rani, you know, he invites her as the the 
consort of Vitala or Krishna, you know. So like um, Ramanan Prabhu said, if we worship her as the consort of Krishna or consort of Vitala, then it's fine, you know. Mm -hmm. But like he said, she will not come without her husband. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so and... all these dasas have a perfect way of actually worshipping the demigods or calling upon the demigods, you know. And also one time somebody was saying to Srila Prabhupada, my guru, if he sees the money, then his hand goes backside. No, no, no. And Srila Prabhupada see, is told that if I see the money, my hand goes like that. So money is like a honey. But where we have to utilize, that is the, that depend upon our consciousness. So Yukta Vairagya, Srila Prabhupada, he was utilizing everything in Krishna's service. So if it is related to the Krishna's service, one time I was hearing to Kali Prabhu, he was saying that if you are working day and night and helping in Krishna's mason, then that work is also dedicated to the Krishna. So it, that is also bhakti. So depending upon our consciousness, what we want and where to utilize that money. Everything is divine. Nothing is mine. Everything is divine. So everything can be utilized in Krishna's service. But it has to be under the guidance. Oh, thank you, Prabhu. Thank you, Mataji. Hare Krishna. So we can stop here, Mataji? Yes, Prabhu. Thank you. Ekvan Chakar Ananda Guru Shri Prabhupada Jai